Hi, my name is Sally, and I've been attending uh, Destiny for about five years now. My name is Melissa, and I've been attending Destiny Christian Church for about seven years now. My name is Alicia, and I've been coming for about four years. My name is Steven, I've been coming for about three years. I give to missions because I can't physically go over there. And if my money that God has blessed me with already can go and be a blessing to somebody and, and help them in any way, then that's what I want to do. I want to be a blessing to others. I want to be somebody that God is going to use me to get it through me and get it to them. I give to missions because I believe that we can reach other nations with the gospel and we need finances for that so therefore I want to be a part of it and maybe right now I can't go but I know that I can send my, my money and send my pastor or anybody to go and preach it. I love the opportunity to give to missions when I get to see the pictures on Facebook from the churches in Philippines and them starting new churches and I see people raising their hands to worship it just really moves me and it just makes me want to cry because I see that these people's lives are being changed and I get to be a part of that. I just love seeing the opportunity to watch other people grow and get the opportunity to know Jesus and watch new churches being built and just seeing people happy that our missions gave them that opportunity. I would encourage someone to give to missions because it is awesome to see the impact that you can make and you don't even have to be there but just sending your money makes such a uh, huge impact and you get to see the results and when you see that two, two point million people got saved in the Philippines was oh I was a part of that I wasn't there but because of my money I can I can say I can claim it that it was because of me also I would encourage everybody to give to missions because number one not all of us can go but our money can our lives are to be used by God, and if God can use us in, in that way, then let's be used in that way. Let's be used financially. Well, uh, another thing that we were able to overcome was the fact that uh, two months um, we thought we weren't able to give, but somehow God just pulled off a great miracle and gave us some money, and we were able to give more than what we thought we could were able to give. All throughout the year, we were like, wow, are we really giving this much money? And then we still had an abundance and able to bless other people in the ministry or bless other people in our life too. And we always still had enough, always. Some of the challenges that I've overcome is, number one, I'm a single mom, divorced, and I have two kids. So for me, it's, should I go on vacation? or should I give to, to missions? Should I give to the promise that God has given me to do? Should I let him use me the way he has intended me to be used? And so, yeah, sacrifices have been made to where no vacation, but I'm gonna give to mission and help somebody around the world who doesn't even have the option to go on vacation. Last year when I was praying and I was asking God how much he wanted me to give, I wanted to test God and I told him, I don't have that much money that I can give towards it, but I'm going to sacrifice Starbucks, I'm going to sacrifice going to the movies, and I'm going to give more. But if I give more, then I want to raise. I need a raise in my job because I can't really afford it. So I was going off of, on faith. And it was awesome because Three or four months later, I sat down with my boss and he gave me uh, he gave me a raise, so I was able to get more money and give to missions, and God really came through with it. 